Hey everyone, we've been pretty busy over the past few months working on some powerful additions to Gravity Sketch and Landing Pad. We've redesigned the Lobby and File Manager to make it easier to navigate and also find files. With the File Manager, you can now find files by searching for them by name and sort them by file type. You can also move files into folders and organize projects within VR, saving a lot of time and making it easier to work on complex projects. Being able to have accurate measurements around your projects is now possible with the new measurements tool. To use it, navigate to the primitives tool, which you can see has a new icon. Then tap on measurements. Simply pull the front trigger on the drawing hand controller and move the controller to draw out a measurement. Measurements are treated like any other object in Gravity Sketch, meaning you can edit them by grabbing them and pressing the edit button on your non-drawing hand. Then you can move the location of the numerical value and you can move the endpoints of the measurement as well. You can also use the snap function to snap the endpoints to other surfaces or points. As you move the points, the measurements will update in real time. Scaling measurements will also update the measurements in real time. For an in-depth tutorial on the measurements tool, you can navigate to the measurements tutorial file in the gallery, which has everything broken down step by step. Next up, custom HDR backgrounds. Many of you asked to be able to use custom HDR backgrounds and now you can. To do so, first you will need an HDR file. Next, you can upload the file to landing pad. If you're tethered, simply move it to the Documents, Gravity Sketch, HDRs folder. In Gravity Sketch, press the blue button on your non-drawing hand and go to Settings. Then, go to Workspace. Here, choose Custom and then toggle on HDR. Then, you can choose a custom HDR. A drop-down will appear where you can select an HDR image you want to use for your scene. Press the blue button to exit the settings. When you are in VR, it may feel like you're floating 20 feet above the ground when you load in an HDR image. This is normal and is just the nature of working with spherical images in virtual reality. In addition to this, untethered Quest users won't see any shadows as well. And last but not least, let's exit out of virtual reality and back into, wait, augmented reality? Yep, you can now export USDZ and GLTF file formats right from landing pad to view your creations in augmented reality on any iOS or Android device that supports augmented reality. To do this, go to landingpad.me and log in. Then navigate to the file you wish to export. Click on the file and then view down below. Once the file loads up, click on the export on the left hand panel and then choose either USDZ for iOS devices or GLTF for Android devices. To view the files on your device, simply log in to landingpad.me from your device and navigate to the USDZ or GLTF file. I use the search function for this. Then hit download and open your file from your device downloads. Wait for the device to find a flat surface and use your fingers to place the file. Viewing your files in their real environment is now possible. So there you have it, the most awesome new features in Gravity Sketch and how to use them. We know that was a lot, but as always, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, feel free to let us know on our YouTube channel, Discord chat, socials, or through our help desk. See you next time.